Hey guys, Richard here from the School of Nomads. So in this review, I want to go through a product called Scribble. Now Scribble is a product I recently bought to help me create lead magnets like eBooks and checklists so that I can generate leads for my business. So Scribble has actually been out for a while. It's from Adele Chowdhury and Ali Chowdhury and it's actually on the ClickBank network. So I purchased this from ClickBank, but I thought I'd do this quick review because I've noticed they've got a few discounts on at the moment. Now what we'll do, I'll give you a product overview. We'll go through the members area. We'll have a good look at the sales page. I'll talk you through the upgrades. I'll tell you what's not so good about this product or what's good about this product. And then I kind of summarize so you've got enough information for you to decide whether this is going to be something that you'd like to purchase. So in a nutshell, this is an application that allows you to create really, really high quality eBooks and reports and various other types of lead magnet that you can go ahead and sell to other people or use in your own business to actually create leads. Now, this product will make you money if you obviously sell it to others. It's not some kind of touch button software. It is a place where you actually develop your lead magnets and then use them for your business. So it comes with a free commercial license, which means you can actually use it straight away to sell to others. And it also comes with an agency website, which I talked to you a little bit about because there is some setting up required for the agency website. Um, it's a one-click automation content engine. Again, I'm going to go through that. There is some aspects to that that are better than others. And uh, there's a 30-day guarantee. Whenever you buy a product off ClickBank, there's always an ironclad guarantee. So no problem on that score. So what we'll do, we're actually going to the application itself and I'll show you around. So we're over on the dashboard. It looks pretty complicated when you first come in here, but essentially what happens is on the left-hand side, you've got a list of all your active products. So anything that's not red is active. So what I did is I've actually bought the front end version at the moment before I go ahead and start buying some of these others. Now, I'll take you through each one of these other applications and kind of show you in a little bit of detail what they're actually all about. And I'm also going to show you the current pricing because a lot of these things are actually on discount at the moment, which when we go back to the sales page, you'll also see there's a 60% discount on the front end at the moment. So the kind of pricing is a little bit different depending on when you actually watch this video. So I'm going to give you what the pricing is today. So each one of these, as I said, is um, which ones you've actually got installed. So I got the front end installed. Now on the top here is the various links to these various products. So depending what you have will depend which of these links actually work. So you've got a home screen here, which is this one. Hi there, this is Adil Chowdhury here, the founder and creator of Scribble. I'd like to congratulate you for investing in this powerful. So you have a home screen here. Now on, on here you've got Adele, who is kind of the spokesman for this business. I think, he, I think it's his brother is the actual graphic designer. Um, he does most of the training courses you see and most of the kind of tutorials. So you'll see a lot of this guy, um, really nice guy, you know, you know, comes across really well. Um, so this is the home screen. Then you have the projects here. These are the projects that you've already created. So if I click on this now, I'll show you. I've got two freehand projects created here. And this allows me just to very quickly see which of the projects um, I've already created, and then I can come along here and actually edit them, rename them, download them, actually clone them as well if I wanted to use them for something else. So it's a good way just to keep track of all the projects you've created. Second thing is the templates. Now the templates are the various templates that I can use depending on my membership level to create my eBooks or my checklist. So, so basically at the front end, I've got 60 templates that I can go ahead and use straight away. Now, as well as those 60, I have these 10 more, which I need to put a testimonial in to actually go ahead and get 10 more, right? And this Prime Gallery is one of the upgrades which I'm going to go through. So you have these 60, and basically you just scroll through, find the one you like, and actually start developing your ebook. So I'm going to come back to that. Um, you have some various packs here you can buy depending on the time of the year. So they're going to have lots of different types of packs here. These will be updated on a regular basis depending on the season. Now this Fantasia 3D is a nice little upgrade. Now this is something I'm probably going to get myself and it allows you to either produce 3D covers for your various eBooks, which here is some examples of those 3D covers, or what I think is a little bit nicer is actually these flip books. Now this will basically turn your eBook into one of these flip books that once you send people, 
will actually look more like this. And I think that's a really, really nice look for these various eBooks. So Prime is actually an upgrade as well. Now Prime is actually a one-off cost and they'll update the database for a year with new niche topic eBooks. So you could look into that a little bit. It depends what kind of niche you're into, whether you think you'd need more styles of eBook. Um, but it allows you to get from fresh content in there. And then you have the job finder piece. Now the job finder is an interesting one. If you go into job finder itself, it allows you to actually search all of these various databases like freelancer, Golance, designs, flexi jobs for, for people that actually want to have eBooks designed. So if you were looking for to get some client work out of this, this allows you to actually go ahead and search these databases for folks that are looking for these keywords and obviously gives you a head start because you can then go ahead and submit your quotes for the various jobs. So again, that's another upgrade is the job finder piece. Clients, you have a database that you can actually put your clients in here. So one of the functions of the ebook that I'll show you is you can actually share it directly to clients and you don't have to download it beforehand. And this is where you actually put the database of the clients in. So you'll have their name, the email address, contact info, and then you'd be able to actually go ahead and share your ebook directly to them. So that's a nice little feature because it allows you to run your business really from this interface. And then you have the training. Now the training is particularly good on this application. So you've got lots of different training videos here on the left hand side. You've got some master classes here. This first master class I've sat through this is two hours and Adele actually takes you through the entire process of creating books. Then you have some squiggle tutorials, some prime tutorials, 3D cover tutorial, everything really you'd need to have flipbooks, client dashboards, another master class, all different types. And they add new videos to here all the time. So this is particularly nice. Part of this application is the training is very, very extensive. So that's the training piece. Now there is actually a store that you can get created and purchase for all of your various eBooks. So this is kind of another upgrade. And then you have this thing called Send Bible. A Send Bible is a landing page builder, which again will build funnels if you want to go ahead and sell your eBooks. Um, again, this is additional cost. This cost was around $197. So, so again, this is additional product that they're actually selling you outside of Scribble itself, which is $197. If you wanted a landing page builder and somewhere that you can actually build your funnels for your various eBooks straight away. So that's kind of the top section. Now, if I come back over to home, I'll actually show you how you go ahead and build an eBook. What you need to do first is come along to templates hit templates and then you would just come along and pick any of these that you'd like so what you can do is actually view each one of them before you go ahead and use one so these are really nicely laid out ebook templates now they've got all got a table of contents and then you've got the various ways that the actual content is laid out and where the images are in each one of them so you can come in here and actually change everything but you can come in here and look at whether you think this is a layout that you'd like to use. Now, everything you see is customizable. So I could have this yellow, black, whatever I wanted it on this side. I can have a different image there. All of this text could be changed. So it just gives you kind of a nice basis for what your ebook would look like once you produced it. And I'll give you another example here. I know there's another bright one here. Again, table of contents, but the diff slightly different layout. Now, what they've done is they've used designers from various parts of the world to come up with these various designs so that they're all slightly different. Some are a little bit more corporate, some are a little bit more fun. Um, so you see uh, there's a bit of a corporate one there, the technology one there. There's a weight loss one here. Again, table of contents, various images here, places that you can put your text and everything you see is customizable. So what you do then is you just come along here and you'd actually just pick one. So I'm just gonna pick a simple one at the moment. Let's go back to this Internet Wealth for Dummies one. If I want to use this, all I need to do is hit use. So the first thing you need to do is pick a project name. So I'm just going to put dummies in. And I'm going to use the freehand editor. It doesn't really make much difference, but I've just been using this freehand editor one. So the next step is to actually decide on what type of content you want to create for your ebook. Now, 
you can do various things. You can grab it from a URL, you can create your ebook in the recommended way, you can copy and paste content manually, you can upload Word or text files, and you can start from their article collection. Now, the best way I've seen of doing it is actually creating your ebook using this recommended method. The reason that is, is that the original ebook that you just picked with all of that structure around it and the colors and the images and text in certain places, it will keep that structure. And all you need to do is come along and actually replace the text, maybe replace a couple of the images, but leave the general structure alone and it'll look a lot nicer because that's actually being created in a certain format to look nice and aesthetically pleasing. If you do any of these others, it doesn't keep that original format. What it just does is bring in that content into an ebook format, but takes away all of that other formatting you saw. So I'll give you an example of that to show you, but I'll show you this way of actually doing it in the recommended way first, so you can see how much nicer this actually looks. So here's the create your ebook. So I'll, I'll pick that option. So once we've decided on our template and we decided on the way that we're going to develop our content, it actually brings in it all into an editor. You can edit everything that you can see on here. So it's a very, very flexible editor. Now at the top here, you've got the overall settings. You've got some global attributes around the headers and footers, whether you want them to be showing, etc. And then you have a generated table of contents, which will allow you to generate the table of contents, depending on the articles and the titles of the articles that you actually put in there. So that's a very quick way of generating the table of contents. Now, on the pages itself, it allows you to go to individual pages and do the editing on them as well. There's various things you can edit on the pages. You could give it different element names. You can change the margins. So you see that page is going further away from the previous one. So you can change that margin. You can change the actual background image on the page by either uploading an image directly to the system here if you've got professional, you can go ahead and look for stock images automatically, or you just go find some and upload them. So you can change that in a number of ways. Let me just close back out of that. And then when you start looking at the borders, you can start looking at various types of borders as well. So you can start filling in borders, giving them a color. And then you can see on that particular page, there's actually a border on that page now. So, you know, super flexible here. You could do a lot of things with the actual pages themselves. And again, you can do it for all three of them. So various things that you can do on the pages, but then you can come and actually look at each individual page and just come along here and just change the various parts of text and the various images. So the images are exactly the same. You can either go ahead and, and drag one from a URL and just provide that and it'll replace that image with the URL, um, the image that was on your URL, or you can come along here and press this again and then go ahead and upload an image to replace here. And then the text is just a really nice little text editor. So you can come along here and actually just change all of the text out. And if I wanted to change that color to white so I could actually see it, then it would change that to white. And then I can come along here and replace this text with whatever type of text that um, I had for my, my own content. So really easy way for you to build a really nice looking ebook here. And again, the best thing about doing it this way is that you can actually keep the original format that you chose. So all of these sweeps and stuff and the way that the images are laid out would all stay the same. So a couple of other things you can do, you can go to individual elements on the left hand side here and actually go and change them. So there's something very specific you want it to work on, you can go and select it like that. Or you can come to colorize and this will actually give you a number of colors that you can just go ahead and pick and it will change all of the colors to suit depending on what you've actually picked. So you look at this it's giving me various options for my colors so that just kind of shows you how flexible this overall editor is now if you wanted to add some new content again you could just upload a word file you can grab it from url or you can copy and paste it content manually and just add, put new content into here so lots and lots of different ways that you can go ahead and edit this now there's a couple of ways you can actually go ahead and generate this now you can either publish it and it'll allow you to actually publish directly to a client. So if I had clients set up in the area that I showed you previously, I could publish this and send it straight to a client. So I could do it by all pages, or I could just select a couple of pages and send it directly to that client. That's a really useful feature, especially if you're working directly with a client to develop the, the particular ebook. The only thing I can do is actually come along here and generate the ebook. So. I can use a, a new method or a legacy method. Not quite sure what the difference is between those two, to be quite honest. But then 
you can come along here and either you can show it in a new tab, you can download it as a PDF file, or you have these other ebook formats. So if I had a, an Amazon account, I could upload that directly into Kindle. Same with this EPUB one and the mobile one. So that's a really nice feature. It allows you to have a number of ebook formats you can go ahead and choose. I'm just gonna open it in a new tab. And essentially this is what people would see if I just sent them the link to this. So, you know, obviously I haven't done much editing on this, but very, very nice, nice look and feel about it. And um, that's what I could send them directly. Or I could just download it as a PDF file and then they would have this sent to them. And lots of different ways you can actually publish it. Now when I finish the old the book, come along here and I just save it. If I save it and exit, once I come back to my projects, that ebook's then now in my projects. So you know, I think that's a really nice quality editor there because this is so flexible. This allows you to do so many different edits to it that you've not just got 60 odd templates on the front end. You've got much more than that because you can change pretty much every part of the template. So if you wanted to go and do one of the other ways, I'll just go back in and I'll get to the piece where you actually pick the content. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this affiliate Bible one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, and start from an article collection. So these are the articles that they've got in the system. So here's what you have. You have the um, the ebook itself, but you'll see a lot of the formatting isn't really here anymore. The, the first page, the content page and the thank you pages here but then the the rest of it is has really been taken away because it's it's not actually brought the formatting across and this is the same if you go to a url and bring it in from a url it'll still do the same thing it'll bring in the data but it's better if you actually go ahead and use the recommended way that they've got of producing ebooks and then just formatting the actual template itself because it keeps that structure and it's a much nicer way of doing it so again that's the actual way you would build it you, if you were doing this yourself, you'd take a lot of time with this and actually make something that was really nice quality. And, and once you do, this is a really nice tool to be able to do that in because, again, it gives you a lot of options to edit. Loads and loads of different templates here for all different types of niches. You know, we've got food here, Bitcoin here, parenting here. Um, I'm definitely going to use a few of these because I've actually got a, a website that concentrates on parenting so I might end up using that one so lots of different templates here now let's have a look at those various upgrades so the first thing I do I just jump over the sales page now at the moment they've got 60% off in their June summer sale and that means $40 off now I've looked at this myself and um, this this is still valid ice cream codes so if you put ice cream in the actual coupon section of the checkout page you'll get $40 off which means at the moment it's about $30. Um, slightly different because I'm in pounds, obviously. So it's around $30 at the moment. So that's a really good deal because I think I paid double for this. Uh, yeah, I think I paid 67 for this when I when I bought it. So it's a really good deal because you're getting a good $40 off that at the moment. So that's that's kind of where we are at the moment as, as far as the front end's concerned. It's going to be around $35. Now, if I go back into the dashboard, if you get Pro another the front end is 60 templates and this is another 170 templates on top of that so if you're going to use this for a business then you definitely need the pro version and at the moment you can get the professional version for 87 dollars so again for the amount of various templates you're getting it's a pretty good deal because there's a huge amount of additional templates on there if this is something that you were going to actually produce a lot of now, as far as the Prime Monthly, now this Prime Monthly, again, is additional templates that are being added into the database every single month. Um, and again, there are various types of niches, you know, Fifty Shades, Harry Potter, Crypto, whatever. And you can get 329 off that at the moment. Let's just go to the pricing. So the Prime at the moment is $47, and there's an extra $3 off, so about $45. So, so that's the Prime at the moment, it's around $47. And then if I come to Fantasia, which is actually the upgrade I liked up here, which is the additional uh, 3D covers and flip books, you can get the Fantasia version for $77. And I, again, that's something I think I'm going to purchase because I really like that formatting. And then that's one, the auto job finder. Again, if you were going to use this for clients and you looked, wanted to look for a way to find clients easily, this might be a good one for you. That's uh, $197. So obviously this is really for people that want to be able to find clients and actually sell ebooks to those clients so 
if you were looking for work off places like freelancer it gives you an easy way to go ahead and search that and then the last thing really is this agency website now they do say this is a free agency website but essentially you have to download it on a zip file and upload it yourself to a website unless you want them to do it now you can go ahead and do that you can download this website and upload it to your own and it gives you an area where you can go ahead and advertise these books um, these these ebooks or you can get them to actually do it now they'll go ahead and give you a free domain name charge you $47 for uploading it and then it's around $12 a month for the hosting etc so that could be an option for you it's not really something that I'm going to need but um, you know if you wanted something that's easily accessible to be able to show others your ebooks that you've created then that could be a nice little option for you so i kind of just summarize all that so the front end was 67 dollars. now they've got that big discount on there which is taking it down to around about 30 so it's well worth actually picking that up you get those 50 ebook templates but you get 10 more as a bonus 15 niche categories 300 layouts and you get the editor with a commercial license and the agency website OTO one is the scribble professional now you'll have to go and check out the exact price of that because these are the original prices and they are obviously giving money off at the moment so um, there's more features and more templates on there OTO two is the scribble prime that's 47 dollars a month that gives you some more niche templates every single month for up to one year scribble fantasia was 77 dollars a month that had about three dollars off didn't it so that's that's the 3d covers and the flipbook technology and then the OTO four was Auto Job Finder, which is $197. at the piece of software that allows you to go searching all of those various freelancer sites for folks that are looking for have ebooks created. So a great place if you want to go and find clients. So the cons here, there isn't too many cons. The editor is very, very good, but it does take longer than advertised for original content. So on the sales page, you'll see it's all about, you know, being able to create content very quickly. The reality is that if you want a really, really nice quality ebook, which you do if you're going to be giving it to clients, then it is going to take you a little bit longer. But the editor is very, very flexible. So it gives you lots of options there. So all you really need to do is create the content and copy and paste it into those various templates. So you're ready to go. It's really good. Um, and, it, and again, it can take a bit of time to edit. But, you know, if you want something good, then you're going to spend a bit of time to do it. The pros, I really like the uh, quality of the templates. There is a wide variety of some professional, some kind of more fun and humorous. So there's a good variety of niches there as well. Editors, easy to use once you get used to it. There's a lot of options on there, but essentially just the basic headline changes and, and copying and pasting in text and then bringing in more images. That's all pretty easy to use. It's got a commercial license. So you'd have to buy that separately. So you can go ahead and use this and sell them straight away. Uh, you can produce unlimited ebooks. There's no limit to the amount of ebooks that you can actually go ahead and produce. Uh, lots of different design options. It's a one time cost, which is good. And I know this product has actually sold a lot of units. So I know these folks are going to maintain this in the long term. And you see there's lots of different products that they're creating that are actually complementing this ebook builder at the moment. So there's lots of different things that these folks seem to be adding on to the overall offering. And if you buy anything from ClickBank, there's a guarantee. So if you, if you aren't impressed with this, um, you've got 30 days and they'll just give you money straight back. There's never any issue on ClickBank for getting money back if you really, if you wanted to get a refund. So guys, I'm going to give this 9 out of 10. Now, the reason I give it 9 out of 10 is it's a very high quality ebook design software. It's easy to use. It can be used for many types of lead magnets. You can use it for ebooks, checklists, guides, all different formats. And it really does help if you want to create lead magnets for your business. This is a really good option for you to go ahead and use. So guys, thanks for watching. I know that's kind of a longer review this time, but I wanted to make sure you had enough information to make a really informed decision about this particular product. It's something I recently purchased and I'm going to use it to create some lead magnets on my own. So I wanted to recommend it to you because I think that creating things like lead magnets are always really, really useful for you and your business if you want to get more clients. And also you can use this particular software to sell to others. So if you are interested, go ahead and look at the School of Nomads slash Scribble. You'll see the link in the description below. It'll take you straight over to the sales page and you can check it out for yourself. And guys, if you haven't been over to this channel before, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. We do a variety of reviews and I also look at strategies that help you build a business online so if that kind of thing interests you go ahead 
and hit the subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I release new videos just like this one. And guys, if you're looking to build a business online, slightly further down the description, you'll see a link over to the School of Nomads where I have a free resource there that'll take you through the whole process step by step. Until next time, guys, take care.